got a fun one for you, a little bit different today. We don't normally talk about Alexa or Google Home or Apple HomeKit, but we get a lot of questions about wall stations for Alexa. And this is a cool product we're excited about from Vanguard Dynamics that we wanted to share with you today that I think you're gonna like. <laughs> All right, so before we get started, two things. Make sure you watch to the end. We're gonna actually fire this up and give you a really cool demo so you can see how the whole thing works. Uh, and then we've got a cool offer for everybody at the end of the videos. So you gotta check it out. And then the other thing is if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you're first to know when we put out videos like this. We do tons of tips on smart homes and always looking for ways to answer the common questions that clients and design clients reach out to us with. So check that out. Um, what's cool about this is there's a ton of solutions for uh, putting Alexa in the wall or in the ceiling. And clients are always asking us, is there something I can do to put Alexa in the ceiling or in the wall so it's not just sitting on a table or a countertop or an island? And lots of manufacturers have got solutions out there, but we were big fans of this one um, from Vanguard Dynamics. And it's pretty straightforward. There's a box here that goes in the wall. You can do a new construction or you can retrofit it into an existing space. Um, it actually goes into the wall a lot like speaker. It's got the two um, kind of ears. You'll see them um, when you tighten the screw that just flops out and it pinches against the sheetrock and that's what allows it to kind of cinch down into the sheetrock. And then your wires come into this box. Your Alexa dot goes into the box and then you've got a really cool trim plate. So it looks really clean on the wall. Um, you can even paint these. Of course, you can get the dot in black. And these are typically gonna go where a volume control would go. So like above a light switch, um, or if you have a volume control already and you're looking for a solution to kind of upgrade your existing audio system, you can pull out the volume control and actually place this where the existing volume control was. So uh, it's gonna go on the walls, about a height of five feet and really easy to add in after the fact, okay? And again, I'll fire this all up for you and show you um, kind of how it demos. But what, one of the things that makes this cool is really is it's just harnessing the power of uh, Alexa and the dots. So, you know, it lets you do things like drop in, which is basically like a phone call. Uh, so if you're out and about in the town and you're on the go and you can hop on the Alexa app on your phone and you can actually call the different dots throughout your house. It's going to come through the speakers. People can talk back to you. Um, you can play music, you know, and it's all going to play through your speakers. So some really cool features, but it's really harnessing everything from Alexa. What's cool is this will actually amplify two speakers in the ceiling. So there's power coming into here. It's going to power your dot, but it's also going to send power out to the two speakers in the ceiling. It can actually do four speakers, but I don't think there's a lot of power, so I would just stick to two speakers, okay? And it can do some other cool things. It does have a sub out, so if you want to bring a sub in, you have a line out to go to a powered sub, and you can also bring a feed in from the TV. Now, there's some nuances if you're bringing the feed in from the TV. I'll link in the video below. Um, in the comments, there's a link to the website for Vanguard where it actually tells you some of the nuances you need to know about bringing the feed in from the TV. But if you had wired, like if you're doing new construction and you had wired, you can actually bring the audio feed from your TV to this location and then out to the speakers. Um, you can plug an MP3 into it. There's some attachments, um, kind of like a wall station to allow you to plug an MP3 or like an iPod touch. Use it as a local source, or of course you can use um, like your Amazon Music or Apple Music and use that as your source. So lots of options to bring music and audio into here and then send it out to the speakers in the ceiling. Super cool piece. So what I want to do is actually just kind of show you how it works real fast because I think that's the fun part. Uh, and we're going to have some movie magic real quick as we set it up. And then I'll give you a quick demo, all right? Okay, I mentioned already, we're going to do some movie magic here to set this all up for you. But there's a couple of different ways you can wire this up. And, and what, what Vanguard's done is depending on whether or not you're retrofitting this or if you're doing new construction, you have a couple of options to wire this up and to power it. One option like this is you can actually use a wall plate. This wall plate is going to act as an input, so you can plug in uh, an MP3 or an iPod Touch. It's also got your subwoofer line out. It's probably going to go in like a media cabinet, and you can bring your power um, like an AC adapter, and you can plug right in, not the screw holes, but, <laughs> but you can plug in to the AC adapter right there, and then it's going to bring power from here to power the amplifier, okay? Um, you don't have to do it that way. If it's new construction, or again, if you have volume controls, you can just run 16.4 straight out to the Veil amp, but this is one scenario, okay? 
So what we're gonna do is go ahead and run power to the back of the amp. If you look at the back of the amp, you'll see um, there's a couple of connections. One's to power the amp, one's to send power out to the speakers. There's an ethernet port. That ethernet port's actually not for network. It's just to bring the signal in from the wall port to here. If you're doing like an MP3 or an iPod touch, it's how we're gonna get that signal, that line in to here, okay? So what we're gonna do is power it, and then we've got one speaker set up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna power up the amplifier, and then we're gonna power the speakers. And I've only got one speaker plugged in right now, just for show, but you could obviously do two speakers. So you're gonna see the Alexa is gonna to start to turn on now. And we've already got uh, our dot set up. We've got our actually Apple Music tied to this. So for copyright reasons, I have to be really quick about this, but I'll turn on a song. You should hear it come out of the speaker and then we'll shut it down, okay? Alexa, play music Andy Grammer by Apple Music. Andy Grammer from Apple Music. <laughs> All right, Alexa, stop. Oh, Alexa, stop. Ah, okay, so that's how simple it is. And so you would have these lined in around the house, especially for like townhomes or studio apartments, um, you know, things that are 1,000 to 3,000 square feet. This is a phenomenal solution. One of the places where we're really excited about it is in an area where you already have volume controls in the home. So you've already got 16.4 running that volume control. So you pull the volume control out, you put the veil amp in its place, you've got wire running out to the speakers already, and now you've got uh, this sort of music server, music streaming solution that a lot of the new audio solutions out there have for a fraction of the cost. So now, of course, it's not gonna integrate, so if you're looking to use something like Control 4 or Savant, it's not gonna be a great solution for integrating, but again, if this is a DIY solution, smaller home, smaller applications, budget-driven, it's going to give you a great opportunity to fire up speakers in the ceiling or in the wall. Very easy to retrofit. And then, of course, we can harness the power of the Alexa Dot. So if we want to do some cool things like dropping in or if we want to leave an announcement, I'll do an announcement. So I'm going to do an announcement that just says I'm on my way home. From Matt, I'm on my way home. Real simple, right? And it's difficult to demo here in this, in this setup, but I can do what's called a drop-in, and I can use the Alexa app on my phone, and I can actually call this room of the house from my phone, and anybody speaking back to me will be picked up on the mic of the dot, and it will sound like a phone call coming back to me. So I can actually drop in uh, and check in on my family, and I can use it as an intercom. So if I have these in multiple locations throughout the home, I can use that same drop-in feature to talk to kids across the home uh, and do it kind of like intercom. So again, it's cool because it allows us to harness the power of the dot. And it's a great solution to get speakers in the ceilings. All right, so that's it for the Veil Amp. I mean, it's a pretty simple solution, right? So we're not gonna say too much about it. But I mentioned those of you that watched the end of the video, we had something cool for you. We have a shopping cart set up. There's a link in the comments below and it, it'll take you to a shopping cart. When you buy the Veil Amp, we will actually give you two free speakers with the Veil Amp. If you buy four amps, we'll give you two speakers for each amp that you get. It's a really, really cool product. We're super excited about it. Thanks tons for watching, guys. Um, love to hear what your thoughts in the comments. And if there's anything else that you'd like to see product like this, let us know and we'll make a video about it.